Hi, welcome you all to the Crypto Singh Show, and my name is Gunpreet Singh, and we talk about Bitcoin, Metaverse, NFT, everything on this show every single day. What's happening with the Bitcoin pricing? What's happening with the markets? Find out everything in today's show. Before we move on, please do like, share, and subscribe. Now, what's happening with the markets? And uh, I want to talk about something really important that where we are headed to in terms of market. Now, the thing is that um, Bitcoin market has been going around, has been stable for a few days, around 16,800 to 17,200. We're waiting for the CPI data tomorrow, which will be out. And then uh, you might see a bit of movement coming in. I think tomorrow Bitcoin will break out. I still think that we're going to go towards the upside, but there's always a probability. Now what happens tomorrow is something we'll see tomorrow itself. It's not far, but I think we're going to go up. And in general, what's happening with the crypto market? We really need to talk about that. Now, is this something that is worrying me? I think a bit of it. Yes. Now, why I'm going to explain you this watch till the end. Now, what's happening with the Bitcoin pricing is one thing is something that I'm really not bothered about because I know that Bitcoin, I'm extremely bullish in the long term, but there are always ifs and buts. Now, the thing is that it's about the technology is it being accepted everywhere and what's happening behind the scenes. Now we see a lot of dirt happening in the crypto space. And I told you that before in all my previous videos, I've told you that this will happen eventually. Now you have Binance coming under scanner. People are saying Binance does not have those reserves. Now Celsius is gone. BlockFi is gone. FTX is gone. Terra Luna is gone. I mean, it's just been one, another and another and another. And the list is just not stopping here. Now, for example, if we are in the dot-com bubble, in the dot-com bubble, the Amazon traced back 95%, which means Bitcoin around what price? $2,500. Now, do I think that that price would come? I really don't know, but according to the charts, that's the price target we have. If it's a dot-com bubble blast, but I still think we're not going that far. We might go around 4,000, 5,000 if dot-com bubble burst is there. Now, what can save us? I think regulations coming in can save us long term. Now, when they come in, they're going to obviously scrutinize. They all are going to check a few of these projects which I think there's going to be more downfall to it. And people will realize that a lot of these projects hold literally no value. And there's no accountability to these things. Well, that is one thing that would happen, but it's going to clear up the garbage and it's going to structure up how you can proceed ahead, which eventually in long run, long run will be helpful to us. Now, say for example, regulations don't come in then what are we looking at? And I also have a feeling that what we are looking at, and this is something I'm extremely bullish on. I'll tell you at the end of the video, watch till the end. Now, I think markets next bull run. I mean, I could be wrong. I personally think we'll not go to all time high. This has been the longest bear cycle till now. And I think it's, gonna be it's gonna be even longer and when we recover we recover to a price i think till fifty thousand bitcoin i don't think we're gonna go and get the all-time highs which again people would be waiting for so i like to go always reverse because once you hit forty thousand forty five thousand trust me i think the world will bet on it and the world will actually bet on it that the bear markets are gone everything is fine 50,000 we've reached 
I would suggest and advise one thing strongly. Take your initial investment out at around 50,000. Now, how do I get this target? Well, the target is an upside, there's more upside to it. But what happens is these numbers in round figures are extremely important. It's just the human psyche works. So just a piece of advice, write it down today that your initial investments should be out at 50,000. I could be wrong, but I would do that. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research, see what's happening in the market. And if you're an extremely long-term investor, then you can hold on because the next bull cycle is something that I don't think is going to be really bull. After that is where I think that it's just going to go bizarre. And then those prices, which I see in about six years from now is never going to come back. That would be the last kind of the lower level of the bull cycle. After that, the bull cycle will not be just a bull. It would be a massive bull cycle. That's what I think is going to happen. Now, why, why do I say that? Well, there are so many reasons to it. Look, next one or two years, I think next one year, we're not going to be printing money. This means what? This means that there's inflation coming in, liquidity crisis coming in. The money is still not going to be like as before. It's not going to be like a party happening everywhere with money. And I told you there's something really bullish I'm on. I, you know, there's something I'm really bullish on, which I'll tell you at the end of the video. Now, there's no party happening, right? I mean, if you're liking the content, please do like, share and subscribe. Now, there's no money party happening. There's no money being distributed. There's no money being given out just to win elections. So I think there's a liquidity crisis. The markets are going to be are getting structured. So what happens to dollar? I think we're going to go down with dollar. Dollar is on the way back down. Dollar has made its all time highs. I think I don't see for next 10 to 15 years dollar going back to this level. Now, does that mean that dollar will, will this dollar will go to zero tomorrow? Of course not. It takes time. That's exactly what I'm saying. It's going to take time for dollar to get back. It's going to take time for inflation to come to 2%. Eventually what will happen that the governments will now say, look, enough of money, if enough of inflation, enough of rate cuts, uh, rate rise, you know what? We need to now print money again. That is when your bull cycle really starts. Now people are expecting 2023 or 2024 to be the bull for the market. Look, I don't think US markets are going to go back to highs again. This technology or this money has a huge amount of investment from the US, which is not happening right now. People are in liquidity crisis. The market itself is in liquidity crisis. A lot of small projects are in liquidity crisis. So I think your longs and shorts are gone. Your over leverage is gone. So I think you see the reality of crypto market today. Now at 16,000, we are struggling. I mean, just imagine at 69,000, who thought at 16,000, this market would struggle to even come up to 20,000. Now, my worst case scenario, 3,000, 4,000, which is again a dot-com bubble. So I personally think next bull cycle, we see 50,000. Even if we don't see 50,000, I'm going to pull my money out in 50,000 and then I'll let the rest ride on my destiny or on market's destiny. But as a trader, we need to understand the emotions. We need to understand the charts. We need to understand how human psyche works. So we can't get emotional about it. Well, 
you have to work according to the charts and i personally see that something like this might just happen now again before i move on please do like share and subscribe now i told you something i'm extremely bullish on well with the dollar coming down i think something that might shine and rise would be none other than gold it's been holding its price it's actually lesser than the manufacturing the mining cost and people i think are still thinking that you know bitcoin will be a better investment than gold it could be 100% it could be but next year i do see gold being a better investment now, i don't know how good that would be but that's something that i would still rely on i'm not saying don't put money into it but it's always good to diversify gold is everyone said that bitcoin is gold 2.0 and this will not be here gold is who's going to carry physical gold but look if people start talking about that it's the time to invest into that you know people have rejected it when people start saying look gold is here forever gold is gold gold is what you need to buy that is the time you need to sell that and not buy so my price target still remains around 12 13000 and 9000 which i have been talking about since a long time and uh, i still think we're going there and i still think there is another 4 5 months for this bear market to really go on and then when the bull comes in we'll really have to see the charts where they are going but i'll take a lot of my risk off at 50000 i'll not wait for it to cross 70000 that's what my game plan is and that's what your game plan should be but i could be wrong please do your own research and try and understand if at 12000 or 10000 we've going five times the money at 10000 or 12000 we go to 50000 we are making five times the money so try and understand that you might be emotional but there are people institutions who are not emotional about it they'll take the money off five times is a huge amount to get the money off and i want to tell you that a lot of buying is coming into ethereum a lot of money is flowing into ethereum so have a look into ethereum but saying that you can't ignore bitcoin you never know when the buying suddenly comes in and it pumps to a level which looks like unreachable then so that's all that is there and if you're liking this content please do like share and subscribe i mean we're trying to get you the best content possible and all you have to do is just press that subscribe button just share that with other people so that this information goes to them they we're trying to bring in the reality to you we're not trying to promote something we're not trying to do something commercial we're trying to educate you here and uh, that's what we've been trying to do so the only thing that we expect is a like a share and subscribe so that's all for now and signing off gunpreet singh from the crypto singh show take care bye bye